T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978. We go from this review straight directly into Valkyrie. Valkyrie was given to me by No Effort Randomness. Thank you. And now that you see this and you saw that comparison, see, mm, she's not extremely tall. She, I think she's taller than probably anybody out here besides maybe Claire. They're about eye to eye. And let's see, MJ. She's taller than MJ. So I believe her and Claire are the tallest females out here. Now I'm going to get them out of here because they drive my focus crazy. All right, our accessories. She comes with this sword right here. I think it's called the Dragon Fang or something like that. Don't quote me. And she comes with the scabbard right here that she can hold in this hand. You can only hold this. You can only hold that in this hand right here because it has a tighter grip. And let's get in close on the details on this right here. So, yeah, there we are. This is gummy, gummy, pliable. The sword is gummy, gummy, pliable. Just like the original one that came with the Valkyrie. They are painted the exact same way. So there's like zero difference. But this can go in there. And I guess you can just hold it i mean she does not have any place to store this unless you make it yourself but there's that she also has this cape that i probably need to heat up bend these and heat it up or heat it up then bend it then chill it but here's what it's looking like right here you got that detail right there it swoops around right here like it's blowing in the wind so she can do her little walk on the bridge that she did in Thor Ragnarok. But it pegs into the back and yeah. Unfortunately, it looks a mess back here as I took that off. This is... No. It's a fixed. I mean, on the legs it's floating but it is attached to her body. Front it's like glued up in there. So, let's get on this Tessa Thompson face. I love it. It is so pretty. Here's a hairdo. I like this period. This outfit makes me kind of want to buy that Gamerverse Iron Man. Because the Gamerverse Iron Man matches up with this. Like, perfectly. And looking at this design, this is definitely in line with a female Thor. But she has a hinge there. Hinge back this way. Her elbows bend way more than 90. Wrists go in and out and rotate. Of course, the elbow rotates. The shoulders go out to there and, of course, rotate around. Diaphragm can go back a lot. Can come forward. Hmm, let's see if this is straight. Just decently. And of course, the rotate and rotate tilts. Her legs go out to the side about that far. I don't believe they're being hindered by this at all. She can kick forward 90 degrees. She can kick back a little bit. And you know what? I'm looking there's like a dimple right there in her butt. <laughs> but rotation. Bends here at the knee all the way. She has the wet shoes, as you can see. I think I looked her up, and she's like 5'4". So she's not that tall, but they made the toy tall, because I think fictionally she should be tall. And I've been wanting this figure for a long time. Why? Because this is the previous Valkyrie, and it looks like that. No. In fact, this one is a little bit taller. It, I can see where they were going for it. The shape of the face is right, but the printing, mm, mm So, as you can see, they made our face a little bit more slender. They just perfected it. 
and that was my problem. And these shoulders, I, I've all, I hated that. It definitely looks Barbie dollish, or it seems like they they went outside of Marvel Legends and got the freaking Disney multiverse when Mattel was doing it and got them to design this. Well, let me see if the head swap. I'm gonna say no, but. Mm. Oh shit. That actually works, so hmm. I don't know if maybe the head looks a little bit too small for this body. But yeah, so if you wanted to be in this costume, swap it. Well I don't know why you would want to do this, but yeah, the head looks a little bit big, so yeah. Yeah. Doesn't even look like her. I think, um... Ugh. If you were a customizer, I would take the eye makeup off and let, just let her be a different character altogether. <laughs> but this head is huge. For comparison, I'm not sure if he was wearing this outfit when she was wearing that outfit, but... Can see he is humongous still. Well, let me see. Let me bring this one up. Yeah, I, I didn't remember him. Remember him being so much taller than Valkyrie, but he is taller. I don't know where my. Eh, I didn't look for it though either. The one with the newer outfit. The, I think it, he might have had the outfit on and um. And Endgame, not Endgame, Infinity War, the darker outfit. Anyhow, thank you, no effort randomness. She's beautiful, and I was wanting this forever. Never saw her once. It is rare. In the past few years, I've been collecting Marvel Legends. Only certain figures I never saw when it comes to Marvel Legends. I never saw her. I never saw Red Hulk, even though I wasn't really looking for him. Uh, it took me forever before I saw uh, Scarlet Witch once. Once from, um, I can't remember which movie went Scarlet, the first time Scarlet Witch was released singly. I never saw her. I only saw her once. I never saw Hobgoblin from the, I think it was Space Venom. Never saw him. But, yeah. Thank you so much. And thank you guys for watching this. Until next time, T-Man 978, out of here. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You really should click those videos. Click that shit.